Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Blanco the Slum, and today we got a video going over all the door glitches and how to get gold solo in Grand Theft Auto Online for the Keo Perico heist. This is an all-in-one video. I will be going over every single door glitch, and I will be showing the button tutorial on screen. It has been a heavily requested video recently, so I hope this does help you guys. But before we get into the video, I need you guys to take one second to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. It only takes one second of your time, and of course, I do make consistent G GTA content so if this is something you're interested in go ahead and smash that for me and let's get straight into it okay so first up we have the south storage door glitch for pc you want to activate the camera glitch first you are going to have to climb up to the tree hold w and space and then hold a so that your character falls down just like this i do have the words down below in case you guys it's easier to just read it rather than hear my voice but you want to walk over to this bench right here you don't want to run or else it will deactivate the camera glitch so you want to stay in this position on the left side of the bench jump in just like this and then you want to hold w and the s key for a little bit and then of course you could do it from both corners but you want to do it from the left because it is a little bit easier than from the right side in my experience and now let's move on to the console tutorial for the same exact door glitch this is the south storage door you want to move the joystick forward if you have xbox you are going to press x and of course if you have playstation you're going to press square obviously but like i said the buttons are here on the left and right with the two little controllers and again you want to walk over to the bench you do not want to run it will deactivate the camera glitch you need the camera glitch active to phase through the wall so this is very important again you're going to move to this position of the of the left side of the bench you're going to jump in press x again if you have xbox if you're on playstation press square and then when you look inside the storage you're going to move the joystick forward and then move the joystick slightly backwards and then hold the joystick forward again until your character phases fully through the wall and bam we're inside the wall very easy very simple like i said do it from the left side it's a bit easier but now let's move on here this is of course the next door glitch this is for pc you're going to want to put bullets in the bottom of this pillar and then just walk with it with your character you're going to slightly just you know push it up against the wall it should be in this position right here and once it's in this position you're going to hold w when you reach the pillar press space and don't release w and don't move the mouse and you are going to start phasing through the wall very easy very simple it's much easier than the old uh north storage um door glitch where you had to jump up the pillar and then do like the spin or whatever so this is much easier again we're going to put bullets in the bottom of the pillar walk over and we're going to walk the pillar over and leave it like at a diagonal uh angle right here at the wall just like this and then of course while it's in this position you're just going to move the joystick forward when you reach the pillar if you're on xbox you're going to press x if you're on playstation you're going to press square and you will phase through the wall very very simple very easy this is one of the easier ones to perform in my experience one of the easier ways to get gold in grand theft auto online solo but anyway let's move on to the west storage this of course is for the pc that's the order we've been going in so let's keep it like that you're going to hold a so your character is going to fall down from this tree which will of course activate the uh camera glitch and then you're going to go to the west storage wall which is right here behind you you're going to jump up on this little like uh barrier here you're going to press d plus space and when you look inside hold w and you will end up phasing through the wall just like this on the screen again if it's easier to just look at the buttons and the words you don't have to listen to my voice but i have both just in case and now let's move on to how to do this for console again you're going to jump up to the tree if you're on xbox press x if you're on playstation press square of course until your character falls down you're going to move the joystick to the left and he will fall down then of course we're going to turn back around go back to the little uh ledge right here pillar whatever you want to call it move the joystick to the right if you're on xbox press x on playstation you will press square and you will end up phasing through the wall just like this you're going to move the joystick forward as you're phasing through the wall you want to move it slightly forward though you don't want to do it too aggressively or else it won't really phase you got to very do do all the joystick movements movements very slightly that's my best advice anyway this is the basement door glitch of course i've covered this on my channel twice already but here we are including it in this video of course because this is a uh you know all in one so same thing the camera glitch will be activated when you press the jump button at the top box you will fall down back to the first box and that activates the camera glitch the next step is to go to the bottom of the box and stay in this position hold a and press space and then hold s so that you can rotate in a kind of like a full 360 and then when you get to the bottom of the box you're going to be nice and snug in the corner you're going to want to face the primary target and then again do another spin and on the second spin while you're uh spinning you're going to kind of like phase through the wall 
and uh, you know, like I said, very gently just move your joystick or you know mouse, whatever you're using on PC, just very very delicately move it, and he will go through the wall. But anyway, let's go over the basement door glitch now for console. First step, of course, jump to the first box, activate the camera glitch. You're gonna climb onto the second box, then of course keep moving your head kind of like towards the corner and spam the jump button if you have to until you fall back down to the first box like this and of course this activates the camera glitch which again is needed to be able to phase through the wall without the camera glitch you cannot phase through the wall then you're going to jump off the box and uh you're going to go back to the same spot like we showed on the pc version you're going to position yourself just like this you're going to hold back move the joystick left press x or square of course depending on what console you're on move the joystick left and down to rotate and end up in this corner just like you are here then you're going to want to face the target just like this and once you face the target again you want to move the joystick down and press your jump button and you will do another like 360 and phase through the wall in the process and then you want to just hold your joystick immediately forward very delicately and you will end up fully phasing through the wall and now we have gold all right, and now that we got all of the door glitches out the way, I hope it was more descriptive and detailed than the previous videos. I hope this helps you guys be able to complete these door glitches. I get questions all the time and like debates in the comment section all the time with you guys, which I really appreciate the comments. I love the back and forth, you know, conversation uh, and kind of we're forming like a little bit of a community here on the channel and I really appreciate it. But I have noticed a lot of you are wondering if it's worth it. It's been a heavy debated topic in some of my door glitch videos. Personally, I think it's worth it if you can get it down packed that's my best advice at first it might take you an hour they took me an hour when i first started man these things took me forever and i thought it wasn't worth it because the time that it took me to complete these door glitches i could have already finished the heist and moved on to other money making things you know businesses sale missions etc etc and it wasn't really worth it but once i got these things down packed and once you're able to do them in five minutes or less it's absolutely worth it because of course gold is the highest valued secondary target in Keo Perico. Now, with that being said, I do have a bunch of other Keo Perico videos on this channel. I will link them in the description below. So if you're looking for whether that be finale guides, setup plus finale guides, like a full beginning to end guide, whether you're looking just for the basement door glitch, which I, which I personally find to be the easiest one. Again, all your Keo Perico needs, I will leave them in the link. Uh, links for them in the description down below excuse me and uh, again man to wrap it up if you are looking for consistent gta content a fresh voice a fresh youtuber i am new uh to the youtube scene i just started not too long ago and i do upload gta content consistently um again so you want to hit the subscribe button you want to turn that notification button on so you can stay up to date with all the fresh newly updated gta content i make money guides i'm starting to get into like vehicle guides top 10 cars top 10 fun cars or something i want to do anyway my point is we're gonna have a lot of more you know consistent gta content on the channel we're gonna keep it rolling throughout the entire 2024 and through 2025 all the way up until gta 6 and then i will also be uploading content on gta 6 so hopefully we could build a community here and i can be your new plug so to speak for gta content now and moving forward also through gta 6 i want to thank you guys i appreciate you for watching the video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button until the next one peace out boys